at the end of the day, we shall all return back to the ocean from where, where we once came. You know what I'm sir, saying? Yes, sir. And be, be, be reunited with the oneness. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But for now, we shall water the grass and watch things grow. <laughs> So this mural artist, his name is Eric. Okay. And he grew up in this area. Oh wow. He's painted murals all around the world, but this is his first time painting something in his hometown. Really? Yeah. We're asking residents of the neighborhood. Yeah. How do you feel about this coming to the neighborhood? Right. Along with like, what are your genuine thoughts of, of it? Okay. Well, when I first seen it, it caught my attention because I'm into colors and sacred geometry. So I just ah. thought it was beautiful just to see it here. It means that our consciousness is ready to accept beauty in another landscape, put it that way. I am very, very excited and very proud. Like you said, the project's only, I can say, 20% um, done, but it's already bringing a lot of attention of the beauty. For me personally, I love the project. I love the project, and it's already looked a whole new life to the whole, you know, weekend area. If I have to give him an upgrade for the project so far, I'm gonna give him an A plus grade. <laughs> I think, first of all, I think it's scary what he's doing because I don't like heights. Fair enough. <laughs> it's, this is history being made. I don't see anything else to say about it, really honest. I think it's great to have culture, this art culture, to be expanded in Maryland because it's very, it's not talked about. I think that this is some dope stuff, especially, and I live like down the block. So that's just what it is. I love this area. I love him for coming over here doing this. I appreciate you and everybody else that's bringing art to this state because it's so valuable right now. That's tough. That joke's gonna be a butterfly. That shit's tough. Ah. Now, here's the problem. If you catch a cramp up there while you're doing that, that's gonna suck. That's the reason why I'm taking a prank right now because I'm already cramped up. Hey, good job, bro. He ain't even, he ain't even done yet. Hey, mm -hmm. Taking a break, eating his bananas, and get your cramp, you know <laughs> How do you feel about this mural coming to the town? It's incredible. Um, I actually, Eric and I both competed on this mural too. Oh. And when I found out that he won, I was super excited because this work's amazing. And this is this is my hometown. So to be able to see all this color and energy that only he can bring um, <laughs> to the space is so exciting. And he's so damn fast. <laughs> I think it's actually very beautiful. It's so, I mean, it made me stop in my track just to look at it. So that's one. Um, just standing here and taking a second to really observe what's coming, just at where it's at. I mean, I think it's just going to be such a statement. It's really great to see this art coming into this town. I've been, you know, a lifelong resident who's traveled a lot myself, and uh, awesome. I really appreciate art, and I really appreciate what Eric's doing over here. So it's really cool. Thank you. You look like a cowboy right now, in my perspective. Yeah, some black lady told me I gotta go, and I'm gonna go check it out. There's a, there's a rodeo, black rodeo, in Upper Marlboro in September. You look like you were no black cowboys. You should go to this rodeo. <laughs> I'm like, okay, okay. What am I talking about? Oh, uh, you were just explaining the mandala to me. Oh, mandala. Well, it goes back. Buddhist, I believe it's Buddhist tradition. But the original mandala was this spiritual process. The intent of it, the base intent, was mindfulness of the present moment. Mindfulness of the fact that no matter what you do, everything falls away. You know what I'm saying? Nothing is permanent. So it symbolized impermanence and being mindful of the present moment. But when you look deeper into the, sim the symbology, especially the simple geometry, the circle represents community. The circle represents family the circle represents the individual so it's like circle within circle within circle you know 
but it starts with the self and as the self evolves the family as the family involved community as community involved the country you know so it's all these things put together in this simple little geometric thing it's become this spiritual teaching that helps me reinforce understanding to be a better citizen of my community you know what i'm saying and even with this project it's the reason why i wanted to do it because I've reached a place where I understand my value as an artist and my value is to provide visual healing to my community. So to finally grow and learn all these things then come back home to be able to finally be of service to my community becomes this thing that is like wow, I've, I've, you know, I feel bold again because I'm finally of purpose. I learned something, I had to go out and learn it and come back to be able to give my community something, that little color of visual therapy the work will always be a reflection of the artist you know so for me I find that the more peace and the more calmness that I can find and bring into my personal space the more I can resonate that you know the more anything I touch becomes a sounding board becomes a speaker for that peace that I found for that joy so the very work no matter whatever story is tied to it what it really emanates is peace joy love connectivity for all you know what I'm saying? So. I'm actually happy. I'm pleased. It makes the neighborhood look so much better. Hopefully, it will, um, the kids will see it and it can, um, you know, inspire them to uh, bring this art, you know, to the neighborhood. No, right? Ah, oh. dude, I'm 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 happy. I'm finally able to see my shit in Wheaton. Yeah, you know I mean, it's everything that I knew it could be, and a bit more. Yeah, you know I mean, heart, soul, blood, sweat, and tears. Many years, finally here. Build myself a home. <laughs> Spread my tail. Shake my tail feather. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Illuminate and uh, yeah, thank you, Wheaton. Blessing, man. Blessing, blessing. One small step in the right direction. We just gonna keep doing this thing, you know what I'm saying? Another day in the life. Fourteenth floor. Going down. How you doing, Paul? How you doing, guys? Been so since so long since I've seen it. Exactly. Look, here it is. How are you? Good to see you. Yeah, one of the nicest humans you're gonna meet. Well, I don't know about that. Hey, in my world, you are. How you feel about the new mural coming to town? We love it. We love uh, uh, we love spreading artwork in Wheaton. We love it at our building. We love it across the street, and we especially love it when Eric Ricks is uh, joining us to do it. So it, it's a wonderful, uh, wonderful splash of color in our community. Oh. I have a, I guess, Robert, probably yeah, so the closest view.
police for the war. Come on, man. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Likewise, man. See, yeah, see the police here. Oh my god, we used to run from him. Now, now we don't run. Now we chill, yo, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He used to try to paint it on you. Oh, man. At its goal is to create a contribution that builds on the sense of community while providing content that appeals to people across broad spectrum of ages, background, and culture. Here are a few descriptions of the mural, the murals content. The vibrant colors of the fractal geographic background was inspired by African fabrics. The cube, a three-dimensional square that is a symbol of stability and performance of geometric perfection. It can be seen as the truth because it looks the same from any perspective. The magnificent monarch is the king of butterflies and the symbol of travelers, distant lands. The short life of butterflies serves as a reminder that life's journey is brief but amazing. Butterflies are a beacon of light and hope that comforts and inspires us as we navigate through the complex mix of trials and triumphs that unfold in all of our lives. Hummingbirds symbolize joy, healing, and good luck. This serves as a reminder to live life to the fullest and enjoy simple pleasures in life. Through many of us are immigrants, we are, we are still proud to call Wheaton and the Maryland area home symbolized by the hummingbird preached in front of its home and with a heart note nailed to its inner wall okay and thank you thank you beautiful wheaton uh it's a pleasure and an honor to finally be here i was kind of raised in the area i'm originally an, uh, an immigrant from liberia west africa and i've been in the maryland montgomery county area for close to about 25 years man time flies but uh, as a full-time muralist, I've been fortunate to do projects all over the country from coast to coast, and I never had the opportunity to do a project at where I call home. So this particular project truly means a lot to me. This is my first exterior mural in Montgomery County, and I'm extremely proud to be in the position to share my craft and my love with my community. And uh, this particular project serves as a beacon of hope, joy, healing, I call it visual art therapy and uh, we, we all need to come together and that's part of what this mural is all about. It's uh, something that if you look at the, the, the pattern in a different way, it's actually a honeycomb and we are all intricately connected through this web and we are all one. My work mission is to show that we are one people, one race, the human race, and we all have nature in common. And I want to do something to kind of show more connection rather than division, because there's enough of that out there. So thank you very much. I truly appreciate this moment. You guys have a wonderful day. How did this day end up turning out to be for you? The only word I can come up with is magical. We don't know what the future has, but we are co-creators with the future. We have to do our part, and our part is reciprocated and connected with. So if you don't move, never did the universe move. You know what I'm saying? As we take one step, the universe takes a step, and this entire evening, day, has been that reminder that you have to be in step with the universe. You know what I'm saying? Co-creation doesn't happen because you're lucky, because you're blessed, because you're special. It just means you do your fucking homework. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? And as we learn to wake up and do our part, the universe is like, yo, you can do more. That's all you got? Shh, I got more for you, baby. So yes, do your part. And I'm learning to do my little part. And I'm blessed and I'm grateful and to end this night surrounded by these fucking geniuses that happen to come and bless my house. Shh. It takes one to know one. You know what I'm saying? And genius hangs out with geniuses. And to be reminded that I'm in a room full of these
people that are gonna change this world for the next couple of years and inch things in a direction. You know what I'm saying? That I'm grateful to be a part of this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? To say I know these beautiful minds, but instead of just looking out to realize I am one with these beautiful minds. We are all one and the same. So are you. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep doing, let's keep growing. Let's keep doing our little homework. Let's keep loving family and loving ourselves. And as we learn to grow, we'll grow to learn. Amen. Be the change. Amen. We Amen. are the change. We are the change. Come on, bro. Well said, well said. Well said. You know what I'm saying? It takes three Africans to move a stone, but we move with stones across <laughs> Gibraltar. <laughs> wow, no. Wow, no. Yes, man. You know what I'm saying? Yes.